Welcome, everybody, to episode one. Episode one. Of the Marketing Corner with yours truly, Sean Campbell. I'm truly, truly blessed. I, I haven't slept in weeks, Sean. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah. I believe yeah. it. Like, you look a little bit on in. On in. But I'm kind of tired but excited. You, But you look like ready. You look like, like you've only got <laughs> one hour of sleep over the past week, but yeah, that hour yeah. was all you needed right, to right. perform for this hour. As soon as we're done, it's I'm, I'm gone. Sleepy time. Yeah. Sleepy yeah. time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, thanks for everybody for joining us for episode number one of the Marketing mm. Corner. Um, truly blessed. Thank you, John, yeah. for, for bringing this uh, idea to uh, yeah. fruition. With pleasure us is mine man i've been I, wanting to hang out with you more for the yeah, longest time so yeah. this is my trick that worked it, it worked it <laughs> yeah worked. there we go it worked yeah. it worked I, I think this is going to be a huge success not for us mm -hmm. but for our audience and for our, our guests yeah you know it's a i think it's a little bit of a unique idea it's mm -hmm. not something that it has been done before mm -hmm. but i think our take on this yeah. is going to be very interesting and you can never have a, enough good information and kind of just mm -hmm. like good ideas to right. try because i mean especially when it comes to advertising and marketing mm -hmm. there's no right idea right all the right. ideas are kind of like the right idea and you find out what best works for you yeah. so it'll be cool for us to like share from so many different angles what mm -hmm. other people are doing and and so other people can try it out themselves right and it's not just from our successes mm -hmm. or our guests uh successes but our failures too mm -hmm. yeah i mean you and i've been through the ringer a few times Right. And yeah. and I think part of the objective of the show is really to kind of educate and just kind of put it out there. It's mm -hmm. like, hey, this is where I succeeded. This is where I've kind of not succeeded. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. But it's kind of up to you at the end of the day. And I like what you just said right now. It's like, you know, I have, you know, I'm not here to plug my agency at all. No, but I've had no, go my ahead. Own, no, I've please had do. <laughs> 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 I've had my own agency now for seven years, mm -hmm. right? But I know I'm not a perfect fit for every potential client out there mm. and I tell everybody talk to myself and I'll even give out a few other agencies to talk to mm. I've, I was on the phone last week with somebody who found me online and we were talking I'm like you know what I got a better fit for you mm. it's not that I don't want to work with you it sounds mm -hmm. like an exciting project but I don't specialize specifically in what you want. I can mm -hmm. do a little bit of it, but here's a better fit. Yeah. And they appreciate it, right? Yeah. And, and I don't want, you know, there to be a bad taste in either one of our mouths and mm -hmm. whatnot. But, but like you said, there's more than one way to do this. But what's the right way for you and your business and your brand? Mm -hmm. And if you need to, find an agency to assist you. I mean, here, here are some options. Here's mm -hmm. some good options, right? Yeah. And what to look for in that agency. Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah. And, I, and I'm sure we're going to probably be talking about all kind of different notions but like that just definitely makes me think of the idea of the ideal client and your dud client yeah and how it's really important to right. make sure that you one don't take in any dud clients or if you do have dud mm -hmm. clients you know how to to distinguish who they are so right. you can get them out of the way so that way you're only working with your ideal clients and you're yeah. both kind of you yeah. in a happy place where which, you know for me like an example would be i have people come and like hey i'd like to donate and help out and i'm just like Mm -hmm. Where's your heart at you know, right. in regards to this? Right. And like, well, I like working with elder veterans. And so I'll be like, mm -hmm. well, have you thought about working with Fisher House? You know, because, mm -hmm. you know, I really work with kind of a, a, a different population of the, the veteran mm -hmm. population. So this may be not be a good fit for you. Right. So, right. you know, yeah. Absolutely. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, again, the purpose of the show is really to provide value and information. Those are the two words that I think you're going to hear over and over, you know, from uh, both of us. And it's not just for local small business entrepreneurs, but I think we're going to reach this on a little bit bigger scale. You know, that that's kind of the, the goal and the impact that we want. Mm -hmm. um, and, and the really the what I'm most excited about this show is that we're going to provide basically a model or a blueprint for other businesses, small mm -hmm. business owners, entrepreneurs. It's like, here's how John and Sean are doing it with their shows. Mm -hmm. Here's how you're they're distributing it across the different platforms, podcasts, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And here's how you could take content, whether it's 30 minutes or a full hour, and break it up into content that's going to last another month, 45 days, mm -hmm. right? So all people have to do, if they don't like our voices or they're like us, just follow us online, mm -hmm. and they can see the model that we're utilizing to get, you know, and we're going to talk about this later, reach and impressions and whatnot, mm -hmm. right? It's all, yeah. you know... Brand, again, there's different ideas and techniques. Mm -hmm. But for me, first and foremost, when I speak with a client, we educate them on brand awareness. Mm -hmm. You know, the simple fact that no one can buy your services or products if they've never heard of you. Yeah. 
and with our attention spans as short as they are right now, I mean, you you got to be online, you got to be in front of them, and you mm. got to be seen X amount of times before they realize, oh, this is Bill from Professional Bartenders Unlimited. I mm. see what they do now. I get it. I've seen this. Speaking yeah. of speaking of Bill, oh, <laughs> good old who, Bill, who's yeah. here in the studio with us for yeah. episode number one? I know you're a special guy. Yeah, hey, that's yeah. what I hear. Thanks, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Netherton here, professional that, bartenders unlimited. Yeah, yeah. The, there uh, there was a handful of people that I was like on my wish list for this first episode, and mm-hmm. Bill was you know obviously right there. Right, so. very, very very lucky. Yeah. It's very great lucky to be to here. An you. honor. The uh, inaugural the honor, mission. The yeah, honor is ours. Say, yeah, we're just launching. I, we got to take the the, the champagne bottle ours. and smash it on the side of the ship with. Us. <laughs> it's a good yeah. thing we cleaned up right. first. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Right yeah. And you know, I knew he wouldn't be late because he's literally about a hundred miles west okay. or east of us. A right. <laughs> hundred yards. Hundred yards. Yeah. Hundred yards. Hundred yeah, yards. Absolutely. You could throw a us. rock at, at his place. I'm guessing. Before, right. yeah. Before I got here, I stopped it's by. It's a perfect location for this show. Yeah. Nice. Yes. Yeah. It's a good thing I asked you, huh? Yes. Yeah, so tell us and give us the uh, give us the one minute version of what professional bartenders is. Some some brief history. Started the company in 1984. Whoa, mm-hmm. Tucson's beverage. You know caterer. what I was doing in 1984? I don't even want to know. <laughs> I I was just I, I was I was really getting acquainted with diapers really well. Mm-hmm. Um, was that your birth year? I was one years old. So wow, well, yeah, 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 yeah. So perfect, super, yeah. <clears throat> super proud of it. Yeah, yeah 1984. Yeah. I was 24 years young, so mm. I'm dating myself. Mm. And right. uh, it's you shouldn't have date yourself. You should date somebody else. Well, yeah. yeah, you yeah. have to start with yourself. You, yeah. Love yeah. Yourself. you get pretty yourself lonely that way. Started. You get yeah, pretty absolutely. lonely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is what this show's about. People <laughs> prepare <laughs> yourself. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> yeah, I started the company 84 officially. I was working two or three part time gigs, Westward Look Resort, Arizona Inn, TGI Fridays. And um, a former um, partner of mine came up with the concept. We kicked it around for a few years, decided to dive in. We said Tucson needs a service like this. Mm-hmm. And uh, it has been going on 39 years mm. now since wow. we've been building our brand. That's wild. In our community, we love serving Tucson. There's so many great events happening there. And uh, like we said, be a guest at your own party. It's all downhill after Bill, right? I mean, every yeah. episode after this is going to be horrible. <laughs> we got 39 years. <laughs> yeah, I feel bad for the follow-up guests because, yeah, he just brings this energy that is just contagious. Right. Like, as right. soon as, like, I shook his hand, I was like, I feel better yeah. now, yeah. and I'm, and I'm yeah. going to run a marathon. It's funny, yeah. man. It's, yeah. it's positive energy is in my DNA. Mm-hmm. I just can't help it. It's, yeah. it's a gift from God. I love it. Yeah. I love people. Everybody's unique and special. Mm-hmm. That's why I love so much serving this community and working in hospitality and mm. I have this most amazing team that I work with. And it's contagious from top down. Every mm-hmm. person that works for Bill has that energy, mm-hmm. you know, and they need it. I mean, you're there serving bars, you know, in front of crowds, in front of masses of crowds. Mm-hmm. I just saw their crew out there this weekend at the Arizona Bowl. Oh, they they nice. had the okay, crib, you know. Okay, yeah. that's a nice little gig. Yeah, great, nice little great time with the Arizona Bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah the great yeah. people, Ray and Shannon. Yeah. Shan- oh, Shannon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Radio brain. Yeah, well, well, we, yeah. we'll talk about all that and more after this break. This is the Marketing Corner with Sean Campbell. I'm Pastor John McClain with the Common Good Radio Show. We are back in the Marketing Corner with yours truly, Sean Campbell, my very, very... Uh, Amazing, unbelievable uh, uh, co-host, uh, Pastor John McLean with the Common Good Radio Show. It's my honor, brother. Oh, it's ours. And, and, and you know, my, my first guest ever, Bill Netherton of uh, Professional Bartenders. And, you know, one thing, Bill, that, you know, I know I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about, you know, your story over the last couple of years. Mm. And, um, yeah, you know, for a little bit of transparency, you've been a client of mine. I've been assisting you with, you know, some of your, your marketing and let, let's talk a little bit about what the a couple things. I'm just going to put this out there and sure. you know, just take it. You know um, where your business was before the pandemic, when the pandemic hit, and where you are right now. Man, great question. Great to be here, Sean, mm-hmm. John, uh, Tucson, the inaugural voyage of this. So <clears throat> prior to the pandemic, professional bartenders was just really, really killing it. Mm-hmm. I mean, just. Um, one of our busiest seasons in 35 years, we were in the midst of that. Mm-hmm. Uh, all sorts of different types of events, weddings, birthdays, anniversaries, celebrations of life, 
um, house warmings, client appreciation gatherings. I mean, you name it, we pretty much do all those types of events. There isn't anything we really don't do. Mm -hmm. And literally, gentlemen, in, in a seven day span, when the pandemic hit uh, in our community and, and the, the world, uh, all of our events via email and telephone call were were pretty much canceled, mm -hmm. not even postponed, just canceled. Some postponed, not mm -hmm. knowing, you know, what was going to happen with the 14 days to stop the spread. We all found out that 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 wasn't accurate at the time as we learned more about the virus. Mm -hmm. But um, to go from 160 miles an hour and driving a Ferrari to a screeching halt in a seven-day time frame where the entire team has been laid off, including myself, mm -hmm. all of us on unemployment for the first time in my life. Mm. Um, you know, you can factor a lot of things into your equations. And my, I used to joke for many years with friends and clients that we need certain things in our lives, food, water, electricity, mm -hmm. and booze, not necessarily in that order, but we never factored in a pandemic. And what would happen, what the effects of that would be. It's it's unprecedented in our lifetimes. Right. Um, hopefully, we'll, we won't see anything like that ever again. Mm. But the devastation of that, Sean, uh, mm. on a business, on a small business owner and your team, uh, just to have the rug pulled out from underneath you right. and not knowing what your direction is going to be moving forward, it was, it was a very bad deal. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, uh, what... I think is your the biggest asset of Bill mm -hmm. Netherton is and, and always has been from the moment you and I met has been your your positivity your mindset mm. you know and that's one thing when John and I have talked about putting this show together mm -hmm. you know how important is mindset you know and it sounds mm. kind of cliche it sounds kind of corny maybe mm. zenny to some people mm. like woo woo, woo, -woo it's, right? it's yeah. so important uh -huh. yeah the, the power of positive intentions yeah. and our thinking yeah. our mindset yeah it's it's it might be a cliche, but if you want to just get down in the trenches, mm -hmm. you have to have a positive mindset. Mm -hmm. Trust me, I know firsthand to get through what this company's been through. Mm -hmm. we, we, we're we seeing the other side of this right now. Um, we are rocking and rolling here in our community. Yep. We are not out of the woods yet financially, but we are on the same page. My team and I have trimmed off any excess fat. And as all business owners, Mm -hmm. I'm sure I've been doing in Tucson and across the country and across the world. But you just have to wake up every day, be grateful and thankful mm -hmm. for life and your health, mm -hmm. number one. And you have to be innovative and fresh right. as a business owner. Right. You have to listen to your clients and know what do they want, what do they need. And you don't know that until you actually listen to those folks. And, and having you on my team to do my social media marketing the past few years has been fantastic mm, thank you it's about branding we have yeah, we have to yeah. just stay focused and we have to continue to reach the community in any way that we can because there's guests out there and clients that we've never served before mm -hmm. and we've been doing this 39 years and there's still so much room for growth so that's that's exciting mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so during that transition i mean n not to I, I almost feel like we're taking a step back but kind of like in the same spot like I know for for our organization, whether it was Veteran Rescue Mission or even the Common Good Radio Show, somehow COVID, you know, kind of was a, a shot in the arm that that really lifted us to a new level. But I know for a lot of organizations, I'd imagine particularly a hospitality organization where Correct. it's all about face to face hugs and kisses and really being close with one another. You know, how did you survive that transition and still come out the other end as a thriving organization and with this the same, you know, the positive mindset and temperament right. that you, you have right here in front of me? John, that's a great question and a, a wonderful statement. I mean, we, we've got to just be focused and we, we've got to just continue to, to fight through all adversities, uh, known and unknown. Most of everything in our lives that happen business-wise are are known, known issues that come to pass, so you don't need to reinvent the wheel. But with COVID, everything changed. Mm. Like you said, I'm a, my nickname is Billy Bear because I'm a huggy mm -hmm. kind of guy, mm. and that I've always been that you way. You look like a good hugger. And, uh, <laughs> oh, I am. <laughs> but, you know, honestly, it's just uh, you have to stay positive, and mm. some businesses really thrived during the pandemic. Mm. Uh, some businesses went out of business, mm -hmm. and unfortunately, there's way too many heartbreaking stories of family-owned 
companies throughout the country that were around for 25, 50, 80, 100 years, and then mm-hmm. they're gone, gentlemen. They're, they're mm-hmm. never coming back. And so the fact that Professional Bartenders Unlimited is still standing is a tribute to the team and the community that supports us. Mm-hmm. And we just have to keep fighting every day and be try to make the best uh, fiscally responsible business decisions you can make. There's always room for improvement, mm-hmm. but you've got to work on a, on a daily basis. You have to have a vision, which I totally have a vision. I know the path that I'm on because I've been on the same path for 39 years with this mm. company. It's and a that, good place to be. Yes, it is. Yeah. It's, a, it's a path of positive energy and service. Mm-hmm. Service to mankind, service to the community, service to your family and friends. And uh, I love what I do. Mm-hmm. I just, I love it so much and I have a passion for it. Mm-hmm. And uh, the sky's the limit. But it's all about the people mm-hmm. and the team that a business owner surrounds himself with. Mm-hmm. Never be afraid to hire people that are more intelligent than you. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, and in my situation, that's easy to do. Yeah, wow. I think it was Ford that said, if you, if you're, you step into the room and you're the smartest man in the room, you need to hang out in different rooms. Yeah, so, that's a true yeah, statement. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But here's a question. I mean, in your love for your, your business and your, your customers, your clients, if that wasn't so apparent and so evident and just, you know, oozed through yourself and your staff, because, you know, I, I saw your complete staff out there at Arizona Bowl and every single one of them was walking on the mall just with a smile on their face. Thank and, you. You know, well, without that, I mean, professional bartenders probably would have went away after the pandemic. You know, your customers love you. Well, you know, I tell you, it's, I just, you, you try to um, <clears throat> lead people by example, mm-hmm. most importantly, and, and from the top down. Mm-hmm. And uh, if you can do that and demonstrate the kind of qualities that, that you want your team to implement and have, you just have to lead them, lead them, love them, respect them. Mm-hmm. And the great things will continue to happen. Like I said, yeah. I, I'm a second generation Tucson native and and the, the client base that we have here and the client list that we've created is, is it's a really powerful list of people. Yeah. And it's very humbling to mm-hmm. know that the relationships that we have are, are just, it, yeah. it's incredible. I mean, yeah. it's, I'm, I'm 62 years young and I have, you know, almost 40 years as the owner of this company, but I've been in hospitality, gentlemen, since I was 13 years young. Mm-hmm. And uh, you continue to build upon that and build upon the family name. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll talk about all that and more with Bill Netherton with Professional Bartenders Unlimited. Sean Campbell with Sean Campbell Marketing Group doesn't want to promote himself, but we're going to make him. <laughs> Let's how, do it. how can they get a hold of you, Sean? <laughs> Call me, 520-339-0259. All right, we'll be back right after the break with the Marketing Corner with Sean Campbell. We are back in the Marketing Corner with Sean Campbell. And one of the favorite things I'm going to love about this is the in-between stuff. Yeah. You're from Nuremberg? No. Uh-huh. Really? Yeah. And you were born about the 80-something? You and I just missed each other in West Germany then. Oh, really? I was there in Wiesbaden from about 85 to 89-ish. Interesting. Yeah, you were probably a little young to hang out Yeah, then, You could have babysitted me or something. I could have, yeah, yeah. Maybe. I don't I'll, know. I'll, <laughs> I'll have to yeah. go. I'll you might have been a little young even to right. babysit me at that I was age, in high school. Yeah. You were in high school? school. Yeah, yeah. You could, yeah, you could have babysitted me. Can yeah. you imagine being back you know, uh, in high school in West Germany uh, during those times. The Hofbrau House. A lot of trouble. That was, a lot yeah, of trouble. That that's another, that's another concept for another show right yeah, there. Yeah, I was actually, I was at, <laughs> at Christmas Eve just recently, I was talking to, uh, you know, one of the fam- one of the elder family members, and he's 82, and mm-hmm. I was like, you're 82, huh? I was like, so when were you born? He's like, 1940. And I was like, wow. what was going on when you were growing up? He's like, well, World War II just ended, and yeah, yeah. you know, I was dealing with this and then yeah. this. And I was like, man, it's just so... Yeah, I was there in the, in, towards the end of the Cold War. So, I mean, yeah. we, we could talk, you know, waste a whole segment on this. But yeah. it was a very interesting time as a teenager mm-hmm. in what was then West Germany. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah but you're absolutely but, right in regards to the... And that's why we got the people go to our, our Facebook pages. They'll be mm-hmm. able to catch the live mm-hmm. on on my page. And probably Sean, I'm just guessing, he'll share it in Common Good Radio Show. You'll be able to see the, the Facebook live of, of the show as well as the behind-the-scenes yeah. stuff of the conversations we yeah. have in the yeah. during the, the in-betweens, which is uh, just as rich as the show we have on air. Mm-hmm. So, so enjoy it. Yeah. Absolutely. So let's get back on topic here. You know, I'm the one who kind of dissuaded us, but no, I don't, I don't blame myself. You, we back. have a good time. We do. Yeah, we yeah. do. <laughs> we do. 
Um, we, I want to talk specifically about a couple of things, you know, um, when it comes to, well, let's talk first about reputation, right? And I thought, Bill, you're a, a perfect guest for this when it comes to a business's reputation. Mm. I mean, what else of a, of a model of a business could we talk about, discuss about a person's reputation other than a hospitality business, right? right. <clears throat> so h- how do you handle like have all your employees have everybody who has that touch with somebody who's you know ordering a cocktail or in a beer or whatever i mean how do you make sure that that goes well every single time so that reputation that pbu has established for the last 39 years i think that it's a great question sean that the thing about that is you when you when you train people or when you talk to your team and your staff you're always discussing service, mm-hmm. um, community relations. You know, you're not just a professional bartender. You're, you're much more than that. And it all comes down to communication and, and interaction with the client. When we do an event, whether it's 25 people or 50 people or a couple thousand people, like at the Arizona Bowl this mm-hmm. past Friday, mm-hmm. the bartender has the opportunity to interact and impact every individual mm-hmm. who walks up to order a beverage so that communication school skill is key the smile the yeah. the friendliness and it's contagious mm-hmm. when you when you smile and treat people with respect and dignity and remember what they're drinking the second time they come back up that's impressive yeah uh, i had a friend of mine years ago he, he said to me he says billy he says uh, are you angry and i said why 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 would you ask something like that and he says, well, then tell your face. Oh. And I thought, oh, my gosh, this is because uh, we, we get lost in other thoughts now and then. Mm. And we forget that we can look over here and smile because uh, mm-hmm. sometimes we're not doing that, gentlemen. But mm-hmm. y- we have to remind ourselves, hey, we're in the public eye. Yeah. We're serving people. Just don't forget to smile. Yeah. I'll mm-hmm. walk into my offices and the team will be rocking and rolling and working. And I'll say, guys, you're not having enough fun in here. We're not running the funeral parlor for crying out loud. Let's. Mm-hmm. You know, it's yeah. it's a beverage catering yeah. company. Yeah, we mm. get to do this, right? Mm. I mean, no matter how busy I get in my day, mm. I get to do this. Yeah. I get to have this whole list of items exactly. that I, I need to finish today. Mm. You know, and you know, we put in ourselves in this position, and it's something that again, kind of get into the zenny part of it. Mm-hmm. Would you rather be looking for business, stressing that that way, or? quote unquote stressing because you have too much to do that day. Trust me when I tell you when we all go out and <clears throat> as a professional bartender myself for many years working at many establishments around Tucson, mm-hmm. the last thing you want to do is be behind the bar polishing bottles. Mm-hmm. You want to be serving drinks right. and you want you want to have it three, four, five people deep and people have got their hands up, people want to order mm-hmm. you're taking multiple drink orders at one time and you're just in this great fun rock and roll atmosphere. That's here's what it's about. Here's and that's how you make fact, money. The, the movie Cocktail was actually Billy Netherton's uh, biography. <laughs> yeah, right. That makes sense. Actually, yeah, makes the, sense. I see uh, the resemblance the, the, you the, and Tom Cruise. TGI Fridays was where that scene was filmed at, at mm. I believe, a 67th and 1st in, in Manhattan. Mm-hmm. Mm. And uh, can you imagine getting paid to do to teach Tom Cruise to do that most people right. would say I'll just teach him for free for the fun of it yeah. but I think they paid the guy 15 20 K so hey nice. sign me yeah. up for that gig yeah. I'm all over it yeah. next time yeah and real quick for- the other aspect of you know uh, of a business's reputation comes from the online aspect right how do your Google reviews look like how are your Facebook recommendations how are your endorsements on LinkedIn Mm-hmm. Right. Right. So, I mean, that today coupled with that personal interaction kind mm-hmm. of, you know, is that formula that you want to establish yeah. that strong, good reputation. Right? Review, the re- reviews are key. I was just talking to my team earlier because we have not done a good enough job of <clears throat> asking our clients, mm-hmm. our valued clients in the community, whether they're a, a longtime customer or mm-hmm. a first time customer, it's important to. To get the reviews because people don't want to read a review from 1985 mm-hmm. they want to read a review from last week or in the past three or four weeks that's how people shop these days right when they're evaluating services of any mm-hmm. kind from a to z they look at the the real-time customer reviews uh because the information you can yeah. garner from those yeah. is is uh, huge as you well know mm-hmm. i know my wife does and, I, and i'll kind of <laughs> I'll, I'll bring us mm-hmm. a break on on this thought and it's just what i'm hearing from you and it's so refreshing i think it's probably the common bond that we all have 
and it's what's missing so much in our society as a whole nowadays and it's called a little something called customer service what, what yeah. a concept yeah, yeah. customer remember? service yeah. what's that what's yeah. that all about yeah. is this a new concept <laughs> it's this new thing that they have that I guess we only do you know and it's it's beautiful to kind of hear that that you know you're you know not only you know it's it's the foundation of what you do is customer service. When we, I know it is for us. Hundred percent. When we yeah. come back, gentlemen, we should talk about more customer service stuff mm, for a few minutes. For sure, because it's a it's a deeper dive. Awesome. Well, and then and the the second thought I had kind of in line with that customer service thought and something I learned in a paralegal class in college. Another thing they're talking about is um, there's a study that shows that ninety percent of people that get attorney work done aren't happy based off whether they win or lose a case. It's based off how they're treated during the litigation. Interesting. So, yeah. so that's a thing. But uh, we'll talk about all that and more after the break. This is the Marketing Corner with Sean Campbell. I'm Pastor John McLean. I represent Veteran Rescue Mission. If you haven't been to VeteranRescueMission.org, please check it out. You'll see all about this show, the Common Good Radio Show, as well as the great work that we do with homeless veterans to transition them through our program, Veteran Rescue Mission, to help better shelter them and connect them with housing and benefits. Go to VeteranRescueMission.org for more information as well as the website Marketing Corner something of another or what's your website, Sean? Oh, uh, CMGSocialMedia.com. There you go. Welcome back. This is the Marketing Corner with yours truly, Sean Campbell. I got Mr. Bill Netherton from Professional Bartenders and my extraordinaire uh, co-host, uh, Pastor John McLean. Oh. I try, man. I try. It's the hard. Common I mean, Good Radio Show. It's hard just on its own, but next to you, Easy You're my brother. idol. You, you, you guys are a tough act to follow, man. This is good stuff. Oh, yeah. and John just, is my low key idol. I, I, I I've never told you that, but I was I like, oh it. man, it's just when whenever John and I get together for a coffee mm. or whatever, mm-hmm. I, I walk I want I walk out inspired mm. and just mm. like I could do more. Well, the funny thing you I say that more. I feel the same way about you, brother. Yeah. I really do. Like yeah. you really you have this deep old bag full of skills and talents that. <laughs> Sometimes I, I get a little peek inside, and I'm like, "Man, that's a." I, I need you to write that on my Google review. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, nothing Sean's against got a deep old bag of talents. <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing against a good cup of coffee, but in my industry, it, we prefer a good pint. Oh yeah, yeah. just so yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I have a drink every now and again, but but I can I can be all right with just a cup of coffee, yeah. just yeah. Uh, to really get get deep diving. Because for me, like, I drink so rarely. If I have uh, even a couple beers, we might as well not even had that meeting because I'm not going <laughs> right. to remember. It. What meeting? <laughs> what's what's <laughs> your name, yeah. sir? Absolutely. Like everything I wrote is not going to be legible, <laughs> and I'm not even going to remember that I wrote it. So. You know what? I'll write it out. You just got to sign it. Well, yeah, this is sure. why. <laughs> this is why we, gentlemen, why we don't consume in studio. Right. Yeah, fair enough. Right. Yeah. 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 They won't let us anymore. Hey, so last <laughs> segment, Bill, you wanted to talk a little bit, uh, expand upon customer service. Yeah, I do. Customer services. Uh, that's my middle name. That's that's mm, what professional bartenders... You do look like. Your middle name would <laughs> yeah. be customer service. William yeah. Edward Netherton, customer service junior. Oh, yeah. very good. Yeah, yeah absolutely. But it's, it's key. I mean, it, listen, we all, we're all consumers. We all go out in the community, whether it's to a restaurant, a bar, to a hardware store. I don't care where you go. Mm-hmm. There's employees that are working, working the aisleways. Mm-hmm. And I love it when I go to uh, a certain place and... There is someone there offering to give me customer service yeah. mm-hmm. on any level with, with a with a smile, a greeting. It's no different uh, for the bartender behind the bar. It doesn't mm-hmm. matter what business you're in, but everybody deserves and needs and desires customer service. Mm-hmm. And when you give good quality customer service, and speaking about professional bartenders specifically, mm-hmm. our team is all about that. We, we impact people from a service standpoint. I mean, l- l- months, weeks, and months after their event, uh, or for their their only daughter's wedding has passed, the the parents of the bride are still getting phone calls and mm-hmm. emails from guests who were there saying the the bartenders were very friendly, but they were very professional, and the customer service was great. Mm-hmm. They remembered what I was drinking. Uh, those are the things that go a long way mm-hmm. uh, as customer service. It's never going to be overrated. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, it's kind of a lost art, mm. you know. I mean, and unfortunately, oh. you know. When we think of places around town that have exceptional customer service, unfortunately, there's a larger chains that first come to mind. Mm-hmm. 
um, there's a lot of good small businesses that do that. But when they have exceptional customer service, I mean, you're you're just going to go back, and mm. then it's expounded when you don't get that service. You mm. know, I will never you know call out negatively a small business because I get it, I'm a small business owner. Right. But I've been to a coffee shop here in town that's no longer open, where I walked in, the person behind the counter didn't say a word to me. Mm-hmm. I had to tell him what I wanted. He made my order, flipped the cashier, I swiped my, and, he, and that was it. He did mm. not say one word to me. Mm. You know, that, so that, that person there, Sean, yeah. it's, it's rampant. Yeah. It's rampant in business, yeah. in the yeah. business world. Yeah. And it really comes down to training. Mm. Train yeah. your staff, train them up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, you've got to train people up, give them the tools they need to be successful. Right. And if you do that and you lead them by example, I mean, literally say, this is how we greet a customer when they walk in. Mm-hmm. And after they've spent money on whatever product or service it is, don't ever forget the thank you and the right. farewell before right. they leave. Because that's right. the last impression that they're going to remember. Mm-hmm. If you do that mm-hmm. with every single customer, mm-hmm. you are going to thrive. And I yeah. don't care what business you're in. Yep. Give people customer service. Let yep. them know that you appreciate them. Let them know that you appreciate them spending their hard-earned dollars with your business. Yeah. Mm. So let me throw the two of you a curveball. I love curveballs. Mm, I love baseball. When you think of brand, what do you think, John? I think of the face of a business. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's it, it's a uh, it's a great question, Sean. For many many years, I was the face of Professional Bartenders Unlimited, mm-hmm. and I would have people call me and say, "Hey, I want you to work my wedding reception, or I want you to do my anniversary or my birthday." Unfortunately, there's only one Bill Netherton, and mm-hmm. it's the highest compliment when a when a right. client calls and requests you to work their event, or they call and said, "Hey, John did our last event. Is he available?" Or Sean did uh, my, my daughter's uh, wedding reception mm-hmm. and our other daughter's getting married. Is is he available? We'd like mm-hmm. to request him back in our home. <clears throat> no one can pay you a higher compliment than requesting you on that level. Right. So it, it's the brand is, uh, it was me for so many years and my goal was to, unfortunately I've changed it. I said to my entire team, listen, moving forward, I want all of us to be the brand Mm-hmm. of this right, company. Right. Brian Wilson, my general manager, Sistine, their office manager, mm-hmm. Ricardo, our operations manager. Those are those specific titles and during the day that's what they're doing. But these are all professional bartenders by mm-hmm. night. Mm-hmm. And they're hospitality experts. And on our roster of bartenders is the same thing. Mm-hmm. So when when people think of us now, they have met so many team members from our staff that when they think of professional bartenders, I know they don't think of just Bill Netherton or Brian Wilson or anybody else. They think of the team, like on a right. postcard. If you can visualize that, that's what you want. That's mm-hmm. your brand. Mm-hmm. This is the people that are representing you on a daily basis, and, mm-hmm. and that's a good thing for a business. Yeah, I don't. I, I uh, asked that question many times across many presentations mm-hmm. that I've done, and there's no like wrong answer to it. Mm. There's an- definitely a lot of wrong answers, but I don't know if there's a <laughs> right answer. <laughs> right, yeah. right, yeah. right. Yeah. You know, yeah. uh, uh, my definition of brand is what the two of you are going to say when I leave this room, and I can't hear. It. You know, wh- wh- what do you guys talk about when I leave a room? Mm. You know, is it good, bad, indifferent? You know, I mm. want to leave a good impression. I can right? tell you why you're here. I mean, I don't yeah. need to wait. Yeah. You're doing a great job. Yeah. Love working yeah. with you. Yeah. Love mm. your innovation. <laughs> mm. Keep up the good work. Yeah. Campbell Marketing Group. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, my <laughs> last presentation I did, there was one, like you said, John, there are some kind of more wrong answers. Mm-hmm. And one person just said, it's your logo. And I'm like, mm. I didn't mm. want to disagree with them because yeah. there was a you know, handful of other small business owners. Mm. But it's a small part of it. Mm-hmm. You know, it, 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 your brand doesn't depend on your pretty colors and your font and all that. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it, it is important. I'm not saying that it's not. Yeah. I think it all adds up. It everything all Everything that up, we do right? as, a, as a brand or a business that we're in, mm-hmm. everything that we do to project a certain image, right. it all adds up to something. Right. right. But one of the things I love to do is uh, I call it free consultation. Like mm-hmm. I could say to John and to you, mm-hmm. hey, what do you guys think of my current logo these are a couple others I'm looking at for the future mm-hmm. and run that by other business owners or just people in your family or close right. friends that you that you believe in and trust they're, they're going to give you an unfiltered 
unvarnished opinion right. Right. and just do a consensus. Ultimately, you have to make the decision yourself. Mm -hmm. And if this is one that you just have your heart set on, even though the, the majority says otherwise, you have to go with your heart yeah. or you have to go with what you think is best for the business. Right. Yeah. Right. But in, I say in that, in the vein of kind of like, I, I say in, in explaining why I say the face, I, I think it's the same kind of like what you're saying, Sean, is just mm -hmm. like, it's just what the yeah. public thinks of you. Cause yeah. I think, you know, when you're thinking ultimately, you know, from the marketing standpoint, where we're thinking of brand is mm -hmm. like, what you do to build the trust of the public. Yeah, I think our answer is really <clears throat> synonymous. You know, mm -hmm. we just kind of say the same thing in different words, mm -hmm. right? I mean, absolutely. I mean, I think your answer was real spot on. Um, you know, it, it's who you are, what you're about. Mm -hmm. It does include your pricing, mm -hmm. right? It does include your quality of work. Your logo. But I think first yeah. and foremost, you know, John McClain's brand is John McClain. Mm -hmm. right? Correct. You know, and indirectly, I'm a part of his brand now. You know, because he's this, you know, his great, you know, his, his assistance with the show is tremendous. Right. right. So I have to not only represent myself here, but I need to represent John just as much as myself, mm. you know. Exactly. And that's so deep. that, that, that's, you know, that's something that was when we, when I, you know, said, yeah, it's like, I got to bring my A game every single time. You know, I, I can't come in here and, and have a bad show. Mm. That's why I'm kind of prepared and you know, super prepared. You know what I mean? It's much, <laughs> much more prepared than my first show ever was. But, sure. but but you know, it's not just my reputation on the line with this show. It's John's just exactly. as much, if not more. Right? Yeah. So. And Bill's. You know that the whole nah, training. I don't care about Bill. <laughs> yeah. hey, wait, 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 wait. Bill. He's Bill. been around for thirty nine years. Here. He'll be the, fine. You know, <laughs> guys, the, the training and the branding thing with the team. It's something you can, you can never talk enough about because every bartender that goes out to do an event is representing all the parts yeah. of the organization yeah. so if, if if they don't do a good job it's a definite direct reflection on the team and mm -hmm. the company and the brand is which is what yeah. we're talking about yeah. what's the brand look like you want to be consistent and you want to be strong and you want to keep growing it yeah. okay yeah. speaking of the brand how can people get a hold of the brand professional bartenders unlimited established in 1984 well, that's a great question i that's all i have Sorry. The, uh, the phone number is 520-721-1577. And most importantly, probartenders.net. There's an online questionnaire. It's so easy to complete. It, it tentatively reserves your uh, special event date, whether it's a wedding, birthday, anniversary, housewarming, whatever occasion it is, probartenders.net. And you, too, can be a guest at your own party. Ooh, that was good. Nice. That was good. Yeah. So, uh, where do we go from here, John? You just close it up. We yeah, just, just, close just it put up. a bow on it we at this point. Up. Yeah. So, at one, I, I again, I, I thank you, John. Yeah, it's, I it's, thank it you. Was great, this man. was a tremendous first episode. I thought we pulled it off. Pretty we're not. Well. We're we not done, are we? Yeah, that's that's we're it. almost done. Yeah, that's yeah. it. We're serious. We're wrapping yeah. her up. Time, went by fast. time flies when you're having fun. It went by fast. Hey, I've got two great gentlemen here: Sean Campbell, John McClain. To be here with you guys today. What an honor and a it pleasure an as well for, for Dylan Netherton. Yeah. Thank you so much for having do, do me. Do you think we get a shot episode too, John? I think they'll let us do it. I think they'll let yeah, us do it. I think they will. Tom, Tom's yeah. giving me a look. Don't forget Tom <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> Yeah. Well, thank you all for listening. This is the Marketing Corner with Sean Campbell. I'm Pastor John McLean. We had Bill Netherton with Professional Bartenders Unlimited on with the show with us. Uh, next time, we'll try to do twice as good, but I think we did pretty good this time. Yeah, so uh, yeah. God bless. We'll see you next time. Cheers, Tucson. All right, thanks.